No. you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. That one was perfectly harmless. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. That's a rather inconvenient bit of history.
Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. Clive Earth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Let's see what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. to you, Prudence. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I did take them. No, no, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. No. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. I'll be nice terribly if you ate their tulips. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Make sure you're taking enough joy. There's no excuse anymore for feeling sad. You don't have to. Well, I'm afraid we can't the end of our time. Do it again next time and we'll talk about malaria. Maybe you found it yourself. Look behind it. This is Dr. Jack Worthing, saying my prescription for you is to say well, well, well. Well, well, well. The show will talk about how to be your physical best. Now, some of you have written in about feeling malaise and lethargy. Now, these are vague symptoms, and the first thing I've heard is There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! What are you waiting for? You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord, he's a downer! No, Call no, security! No. We've got a downer! Take your joy! Take your joy! Take your joy! Take Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time!
Uh, Christ, I thought those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. some bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other.
That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Have any other hatches to go to just yet? The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you.
toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Seems. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Now where I could mug a bobby? Ho 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 ho. You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me. In that sort of hamlet over there, we'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power to fire this thing up. Who can store most of those two? Right. Well. I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick. Just looking. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. 
I'll find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Ah, uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Or we'll leave you there to starve. Good Halloweens for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Of course you know me! You've got me sacked from the old current! Oh, yeah? 
I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You, you lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Shit, Hastings. A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, challenge your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, some guy. I got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gotta come on strong with that lead pipe. You gotta wanna block that. got a sinking feeling. Oh god, this shot. Oh god. sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. 
that chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. <coughs> it's better this way.
This is for you! Resublimated thymotoly, the fuel of the future now. Go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. everything I had when they jumped me. Getting a bit thirsty. I better find something to drink. Where's a pub when you need one? There's a pump on Barrow Home, isn't there? Crouch. I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Can't 
just call it a victory. What have we come to? It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Hello? 
Anyone out there? Oh, bloody! Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade. Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Some of wings, just like in books, but the books don't tell you. You about their teeth? Oh, so frightfully sharp! And the way they stare at you, never blinking. Safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Oh, that's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh! That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle? Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. <laughs> 